Hi, my name is Rachel Tonner, Marketing Manager for Cybertil. I'm here with Elaine Scott, Omnichannel Retail Consultant to the jewellery sector. We're here to discuss um, Cybertil's latest market research for the jewellery sector. Um, our latest report was released just last month. Um, so, Ali, what were the most interesting stats that came out of the report to you? One of the most interesting stats was only 8% of retailers actually display their stock um, across their websites, their store availability as well. And for me, that just came as quite a shock um, because I think a lot of other sectors are ahead of them in that, in that sense. Um, I think they're also missing out massively on sales um, and getting more customers in store for that reason. Um, I think with the millennial shopper, everything's available now on the internet. Um, and people are shopping on their, on their devices and they want to see what stores the stock are available in. Now that could have something to do with the fact that in, in the jewellery sector um, it is higher value items so it could be down to security. But customer experience is key so they do need to try and catch up. Findings from the report show that the jewellery sector is quite far behind digitally, uh, general retail. Can you talk a bit about why? I think it's because jewellery retailers are quite traditional and it's a very, very niche market. They also have a number of challenges when it comes to stock control and this makes it difficult for them to digitise their retail business and their stock control. But if they don't catch up, there, there will be a fear that department stores and other retailers will come in and take their business. The other issue is the fact that a lot of these retailers are family traditional businesses and some of the older generations are reluctant to change. So Ali, you speak to jewellers every day on the phone. Yes. What do you find is the most common feedback you get from them about their challenges? The most common challenges, n number one, is the fact that um, a lot of um, consumers now, uh, the millennials, want to shop online and they haven't got the facility or the capabilities to offer online selling, you know, on the full omni-channel experience. One of the main issues as well is the fact that because they're traditional family businesses with some of the older generations, they're not reluctant to change because they're so used to doing everything in store there's a fear to actually go online and to, to um, introduce click and collect and click and reserve. Um, and one other thing would be, you know, um, things like bespoke jewellery. Um, they focus very much on that um, and they think, oh, it's one-off items and they don't need a, an EPOS system, but an EPOS system is so much more than stock control. So why do you think that click and collect is so important for the jewellery sector? It's very important to jewellery retailers because jewellery is very, very personal and a lot of people want to actually see the products. It's something that they want to actually try on and actually see and view the product before they make a decision. And so for the likes of retailers like F Heinz that are doing that really well with click and collect and click and reserve, they can, they can get the product when they want, they can pick a time, but they can actually go in and make a decision and look at that and get that personalised experience. Enhancing the customer journey and adopting an omni-channel approach is prevalent in this report. How, do you, how can the cloud help jewellers do this? Well, they can centralise stock, they can centralise all their sales data, um, and also things like customer loyalty and you know capturing customers' details, recognising and identifying shopping habits, and getting to know the consumer, which would actually you know, reap benefits for the retailer. In what way do you think that a single view of stock can benefit both a customer and a retailer? The retailer um, would see a huge benefit because the staff can be better informed because they can see real-time stock levels, they can have a look at other locations, they can just help the consumer there and then. Um, also with consumers, you know, they want products now, they sometimes leave things till last minute, so it's about convenience, it's about being able to pick a time and a day when it's convenient for them. So having that on, say, a website and being able to see exactly where a product's available, and um, yeah, that, that just makes their life easier. For the millennial customer, how important do you think same day collection is? Very, um, because I think the millennial customer is very last minute um, and they like to you know, be able to choose when they want their products. How do you think that bricks and mortar stores can work hand in hand with other channels such as e-commerce? Um, I think the in-store experience is still just as important um, because again with jewelry retail, I still think that in-store is so much more important but having the catalogues of products that are available in store online is, is just paramount, paramount. What's so important about driving footfall to store? Again, if, the, if people be able to, with people being able to view the products online, it will then entice them into store. And if they entice them into store, then they're likely to spend more as well. So what reassurances might you give to retailers who are reluctant to move to the cloud? 
Concerns about the cloud are really, really old fashioned. I mean, the cloud can get, offer a lot of reassurance to retailers because it gives a single view of stock sales and customers and data across all channels and integrated completely on the channel. And with that, thank you, Ellie. Thank you. Um, and for you guys, you can download the Jewelry Market Research Report uh, 2018 from the Retail Store website. That's retailstore.co.uk.